My name is James Jacob, uh, Dr. Jacob. I'm a surgical oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. When a patient is diagnosed with breast cancer and is undergoing a mastectomy, patients will often ask if the other breast should also be removed. A couple things to define and make sure we're all on the same page. First, when we talk about the other non-involved breast, we're referring to the contralateral breast. When we talk about removing a breast that does not have any disease, we refer to that as a prophylactic or risk-reducing mastectomy. And third, most women overestimate their risk of developing a second breast cancer or a cancer in the other non-involved breast. It is very normal to want to be very proactive and do everything you can to try to prevent this cancer from coming back or a new cancer from developing. But the reality is most women do not die from their breast cancer. And so though you may feel like it's a race to get everything done, it's actually more of a marathon than a sprint. Because the reality is most of the women who are diagnosed with breast cancer today will be on this earth for 10, 20 years or longer. So sometimes we have to take a step back and look at the long-term picture and what we would want to make decisions about um, and how we will feel 10 or 20 years from now. In going through that, the choice at the end may be to choose a contralateral prophylactic mastectomy or to remove your other normal breast, and we would certainly support that. But we want to make sure you're making that decision based on facts and not just fears. So many women come to us and suggest they want their other breasts removed because they want to experience things like their child growing up, their daughter graduating college, seeing their son married. And these are certainly very important and very wonderful life events, and we'll do everything to help you accomplish them. But we need to realize and accept that removing your other normal breast is not going to impact those factors from happening. And in terms of estimating what's the chance of developing a cancer in the other breast, um, some figures to help with that. If a patient has a estrogen sensitive tumor, then their risk of developing a cancer in the other breast over their lifetime is on the highest end about 0.5 percent per year risk. So if we take a patient, let's say for an example, a 65 year old female who has a estrogen sensitive cancer in her right breast, then the likelihood of over her lifetime of developing a cancer in the other breast, the left, left breast, would be approximately 0.5 percent over each year. So over 20 years, up to age 85, that risk would be somewhere between 5 or 10 percent. And as you can see from that example, the benefit of removing a normal, uninvolved breast is probably pretty small, because the likelihood of that patient developing breast cancer is very low. So this imaginary patient is undergoing an operation to prevent the cancer she'll probably never develop anyway. If we take a, another extreme, a very young patient, a patient, say 35, who has an estrogen receptor negative tumor, that patient's risk of developing a future breast cancer in the other breast is higher. It's about, on the high end, 1% per year. So over the next 20 years, up to age 55, that patient's risk could be as high as 20%, so somewhere between 10 and 20%. Um, this patient may choose, certainly, to undergo a contralateral uh, prophylactic mastectomy to remove her normal breast. But what we also need to understand is this cancer may not develop for 20 years or longer if it is even to develop. And so a patient may feel different about their other breast and keeping their breast for 20 years may have been worth it for them. And we also don't know what the treatment for breast cancer will be 20 years from now. With the advances we've had in the past two decades, we would certainly expect that a treatment for breast cancer 20 years from now will be much less invasive and maybe even non-surgical. We know this is a challenging time and hope this provided you with some additional information to help you make your decision.